this is like the coolest product. I could see why. I I could swim in this and, and <laughs> I love it. Good good good. Uh, yeah. Um, so this I, I can't take credit for this at all, although I'm the quality manager and I love it. This was all set up, all the quality control was all set up long before I got here. Jeff and and company did all that previous to me um, arriving at Coast of Maine. But the way they've set it up is such a tight quality window that remember we were talking about variability. Um, the variability for this compost is actually a lot narrower of a window than some other manufacturers of compost because they are so specific in how they lay out windrows. It is exactly the same every time. So, I mean, there, there certainly is, it's a natural product, bacteria break this down. So there is a sine wave that goes with this product if, you're, if you wanna have a chat about statistical process control, I can talk your ear off, but this is a really, really consistent compost as far as compost goes. So again, it has the high calcium, you can dig around in here. Um, and see that there's shells and, and what's left of some of the carbon that we have. You'll, you'll see little pieces of carbon, um, carbon being wood flake or, or sawdust. Um, and probably one of my favorite days, it was very telling, um, I was, had just started here and it had rained. And this pile, you know, it was last year, the year before, I can't remember. And I walked out here and there were thousands of worms and they weren't crawling away they were crawling to the pile they were migrating so this actually this pile was further out front here and the worms were coming from the dirt on the other side of the hot top and you couldn't there were so many worms out here crawling into this pile that you couldn't walk without stepping on them that's good right it's great so that means that what that means is that is it's cured so it's not actively composting and the worms worms love that but there's still stuff to eat for the worms. So you're kind of getting, we don't advertise it, but you're kind of getting two for one here. Because if we dug around in this pile, we're gonna find worms. Mm. And then the other thing we've had happen is the worm, you know, it, what, you can't possibly screen out all the worms and they will occasionally show up in your bags. Sure. So, um, so as far as we're concerned, that, that's wonderful. Um, some people get a little freaky depending on who they are. They're like, oh, you're shipping worms, but they're buying, you know, <laughs> they're, they're buying worm casting, so. Change the name Costa Maine and Bait Shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when we go in the lab, I actually um, had saved a, a, a couple of 55 gallon bags of this because, you know, when I hand mix stuff in the winter time, I don't want to have to come out here and dig through what was like 10 feet of snow this year. Um, I didn't think much of it and I didn't use too many. We didn't do a whole lot of test batches in the lab and I just opened that bag back up a couple of days ago. Oh, well, you were in there, Sid. And there's just, they were procreating in, in the bag. So there's, <laughs> you dig your hand in, there's just worms all over the place. So, and that's great. Like they're, they're, they're doing their thing and uh, we like worms. <laughs>